Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Open Heart Healing. My name is Sarah Welsh. I am a spiritual awakening coach and a Holy Fire Reiki master. And today we are doing our uh, daily tea and tarot. And um, my mug today says, do all things with love. I like this mug because it's got the same thing on the backside so I can read it. With <laughs> it's easy to read that way. And my tea today is turmeric glow which is yellow, and the glow run, brings to mind the solar plexus chakra. So maybe someone needs to work on their solar plexus chakra. You can, if you don't know how to do that, you can comment down below. I could give you recommendations or you can Google it. You can look for, you know, solar plexus meditations. You can wear yellow, eat yellow foods. Sometimes I wear yellow tinted, like glasses with they're like color therapy glasses and they have diff the different color lenses and <clears throat> I have yellow ones that I wear. Actually, those are probably the ones I wear the most out of all the colors that I have. Um, Cause it, I like to wear them on a gray day like it is today and apparently every day now um, because it makes it look like it's sunny even when it's not sunny. So something about the sun, sunshine, or I don't know what, but, and I'm just very comfy and casual today as you can see. Um, yeah, pick the green sweatshirt. I just, um, yesterday, if you joined me for the live, thank you. Or if you watched the recording, thank you. Or if you didn't see it, that's okay. <laughs> but, uh, we had a lot of fun. Um, it went for longer than I thought it would go. Um, but we had a lot of fun. It did, I found it wasn't very good for doing like a full card reading like that. Um, because it was too many cards and I'm just too distracted by the comments and talking, chatting with everybody, which I loved. I absolutely loved that part, but it was not working with the card reading. So what I decided is that maybe sometimes I'll do these tea and tarot's live. Um, and then if I'm ever gonna do a, a different kind of video, a long, a, specifically the longer card readings or a, a, any other kind of video, I, I won't do those live. Because I thought the tea and tarot, I usually only pull three, three cards, four, if, before it happened to come out and so um, I thought well I could do that live and chat at the same time because those are these are shorter videos right these daily ones are shorter and I don't have very many cards so I could I'm not a, I'm not a good multitasker I've never been a good multitasker I need to focus on like one thing at a time so the live doing the big card reading live sounded like a great idea but when I did it it wasn't a great idea <laughs> but, but we had a good time and I um, appreciate all of you who are who joined me for that and um, yeah. Anyway, today I'm switching it up and we're using a different tarot deck. This tarot deck I have not used for well over a year, maybe two years. I don't know, but for some reason I was guided to use it. It's called The Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed You can see. I remembered to grab the box this time because I always forget that I should have the boxes to show you in case someone's interested in the deck. But anyway, I already pre-shuffled and cleared the energy of the cards. I'm just gonna get a sip of my tea before it starts getting cold. It's still very hot. It goes from like too hot to like too cold very quickly. <laughs> it doesn't stay in the in the right temperature range for very long. But anyway, all right. So we're gonna shuffle. See. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Oh, I got blue. Two blue cards. I'll show them to. I'll put them down here. But I'll show. Obviously, I'll show them to you before I start getting the messages. So I hope you're all doing well today. Today is January 17th, 2022. Um, but of course these messages are always meant to be timeless. So whenever you're watching this is the right time for you to see it. Ooh, okay. Okay, I just was told bottom of the deck, bottom of the deck. Oh, <laughs> the tower, we'll take it though. Okay, so um, now we have three blue cards and one not uh, blue card. Uh, I don't know. Put the tower up there. So the bottom of the deck, we'll start with that one, was the tower. And I apologize for the glare. These are very shiny cards. And now I have three lights on me when I do these videos. But this is all right. This, the phone, if I do it, if I put it just right in front of the phone, the phone will block the lights from it, it seems like. That works out. The tower, number 16. If you know anything about tarot, you know about the tower. <laughs> That's a big energy major arcana. It usually means like 
abruptly. Someone's life is getting totally sh shaken up. Okay, and then we have the King of Air. Ooh, he's got a creepy like bird mask on. Makes sense, King of Air. I'm always trying to see if it's in focus or that you can see it. King of Air. We got the King of Air is Swords energy. We got the King of Swords in the Lightseer's Tarot the other day, didn't we? That King of Air is uh, following us around. Um, king of Air, which would be the King of Swords, is an Aquarius card. Um, technically an Aquarius card, right? Aquarius is fixed energy, I believe. Yeah. Um, so Aquarius energy could be Libra, Gem Libra or Gemini as well. But it, Aquarius. Okay, then we got the Three of Water, which is the equivalent of the Three of Cups in other decks. Three of Cups. Three of Cups usually has like three women on it and they're celebrating. I just watched a squirrel dive from one tree, the branch of one tree onto the branch of another tree and <laughs> it's like a very dramatic leap. But he made it, so that's good. <laughs> so squirrel energy, um, if that resonates with anybody, squirrels. Um, squirrels are very playful, I found. They're very playful and they're fun. And they like to eat. Anyway, so the three very, like I said, usually has like three women on it celebrating. This card is clearly different. It just has one mermaid, but she's got three seashells, which I assume signify like the cups, with a pearl in each one. <clears throat> three pearls. The word, so the pearls are reminding me of, apparently, there's a Bible verse that talks about a pearl of great price. So maybe there's like a big purchase that somebody out there is thinking about making or that you need to make a big purchase that's gonna cost a lot of money and you're like weighing the options, trying to decide which one, is, which one is the best because it's a lot of money and you don't wanna make the wrong choice. Um, if that is the case, uh, my advice is to um, think of each option separately and imagine yourself choosing that option and feel how it feels in your body and your heart and just feel and then that can help you decide which one is the right one for you I just saw 808 on the clock um, the great 808 um, yeah so it, if you need to make a big decision like that that's that's what I would do I would just imagine I picked that one and then see how I feel and just sit with it for a little bit until I get a feeling and then go to the next one and imagine, okay, I picked that choice. How does it feel? And then so on. In this card, there's three. So, cause it's the three, the three of water, the three of cups. Um, yeah. And then we have the page of fire, which would be the page of wands. I'm really not very familiar with these cards because like I said, I haven't used them for well over a year, maybe even two years, and I didn't use this deck much anyway. Even when I first got it and used it a little bit, it just didn't really resonate with me at the time. That was like before, I, that was like when I was just like learning all the cards and stuff, and I think, I, I didn't like how it says like, King of Air instead of King of Swords, and Three of Water instead of Three of Cups. It kinda, I don't know. I like the more traditional way because that's how I learned it, but now I know what these cards mean, so that's not so much of a barrier or a turnoff for me anymore. What is going on with this card, though? It's like I keep thinking more light is gonna help me understand this card, and it's not. It's like, I can see it, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't know what this, oh man, what is that? She reminds me kind of of a, of a geisha. I don't even know what a geisha is. Um, what is this? 
Does anybody know? Does anybody familiar with this deck? Um, if you are, or if you can see this and tell me what it is, that would be great. I can't, I, well, I have it right in front of me and I can't figure out what it is. So I, it's just like this shape of a, maybe it's part of her clothing or something. Okay, I don't know, I'm gonna let it go. Let it go, Sarah. Let it go, someone needs to let something go. If there's something that's bugging you, but there's nothing you can do about it, just let it go. <laughs> the best you can, easier said than done. I know I say, I say a lot of things and then I would say easier said than done, because I know it's not that easy. But, um, and then there's like a white tiger. White tiger, someone was recently, I feel like my son was talking about a white tiger recently, but was he drawing a tiger? I can't remember now. He was, but he he was recently talking about a white tiger. No, there's a white tiger in this card. There's also the full moon in this card. And today, the day I'm recording this, is the day of the full moon in Cancer. I just saw 11, 11. Um, so I was supposed to tell you guys that that it's the full moon in Cancer today, and uh, that's a doozy. <laughs> I'll just say that's an energetic doozy because the full moon can make people emotional just on its own, no matter what sign it's in. And then the sign of cancer is the most emotional sign that there is. <laughs> Truly. Although they may hide it on the surface sometimes, but it's a very emotional sign, the sign of emotion. So if you're feeling really big, intense emotions today, um, any kind of emotion, but particularly it's going to be a lot of sadness, I think, um, so if you're feeling that today, just know that I'm sending my love to you and um, you'll get through it. You'll get through it. It'll, you just, you know, it'll, it'll pass through. It's just, it's just a visitor. These feelings are just visitors. They just come and go. They're not permanent residents, you know. <laughs> I've never said that before, um, like that. Uh, but it's true. It's true. They're just temporary. Emotions are temporary and they'll always move through you and change. And the more that you allow yourself to fully feel it, the more quickly it moves through you. Anyway, um, so I know a lot of people actually yesterday and today have reached out to me or just mentioned to me that they're feeling some intense emotion. So um, I'm with you in spirit and connected to you through our hearts. And then... So we talked about that. The tower. So I don't know. The full moon energy combined with this tower coming out. Well, this was the bottom of the deck, but Spirit said take take the bottom of the deck. So I was like, ooh, ooh, Spirit. This tower card is strange because it's mostly a building, but then like the image of like a a rock cliff or like, you know, like a big rock formation is like kind of superimposed on the top of part of it. If you can see, like this part here is, looks like rough natural rock, but then it looks like a, like a real building, like a temple or whatever, tower or whatever. So 16 adds up to seven. I'm being drawn to these two winding staircases on either side of it, like spiral staircases. So if spiral staircases are significant to somebody, um, I'm just noticing that they're, yeah, I'm not really feeling like this. Normally the tower is, is being struck by lightning or something like that in the, in the cards and that the tower is going to fall down and it signifies that like your life is gonna change in a major way. Things are gonna come crashing down and falling apart so that you can rebuild it better and stronger. But I'm not getting that feeling from this card at all. This tower doesn't, in fact, this, this, this tower even has like the sun right up here. It's hard to see. Can you see? There's a sun here and then uh, the number looks like a sun. Um, so it's like the sun is shining. It's usually like a stormy scene, like with a storm, with the lightning, like I said. And this is more like sunny, 
light. It's more like it's transforming, which that can be make sense with the energy of it. The tower can be um, an Aries card. It can also be a Scorpio card because I think it's a I think it's a Mars card of Mars, and Mars rules Aries. And then the old ruler of Scorpio was Mars, I guess, and the more modern ruler of Scorpio is Pluto. Also today, on the full moon, I think there's something with Pluto too. Pluto is. I think Pluto is opposite the full moon, conjunct the sun today. I could be wrong on that, but it's something like that. I don't really know what that means, but Pluto is the planet of death and destruction and transformation because it's the Scorpio energy. Um, but anyway, the, regardless, but I'm getting that of like how, how it's like, like it looks like it's like rough, raw stone and then it's transforming into like a refined, structure with the, all the details and the stairs and the buildings and things. So maybe somebody is going through some kind of transformation, being, I'm hearing like forged in the fire. Forged in the fire. So yeah, that would, that's a painful experience to be forged in the fire, huh? Let me drink my tea now. Let me see if it's a good temperature. It's perfect. It's perfect right now. I don't want to put it down because I'll miss it. And then it'll be cold. So I'll just hold it while I'm looking at the cards. I'll see what other messages I get. I keep thinking like I'm going to look up and see comments and people are going to be talking to me like it was yesterday. And I'm like, oh no, that's right. That's not what we're doing right now. I'm just alone physically right now, but in spirit, when you're watching me, you're with me. So, so we talked about the, that card and that card, I guess. Still don't know about that tiger, the white tiger. Does that mean something to somebody? If, you know, let me know in the comments, anything you would like to say or any input that you have. I always appreciate all your comments and your likes, and your subscribes, and your shares, <laughs> anything. Oh, speaking of that, so yesterday, if you're on the live with me, I said how, I think there was some, I said I think there's some kind of glitch because it, when I was going live, it said that my, my short video from Saturday, which was just a, simply a video to let you guys, you guys know, the people who watch me regularly, it was just a little video to let you know that I was taking the day off and I wasn't doing a card reading that day. Well, YouTube like showed it to people for the first time ever, YouTube doesn't show any of my videos to anybody who isn't a subscriber of mine ever. I just saw 1808 now, 808 again. Um, so anyway, I, yeah, I got off the live and, and the live was like uploading or whatever and I looked at my, my I was on, so I was on my YouTube channel and I saw my, that, that short video, that 15 second video that I did got over a thousand views. <laughs> And I was like, what? I think that was like a nothing video. It was really just so weird anyway. And I got like 23 likes or 24 likes or something, which is a record for me. The most I'd had before that I think was like 15 likes um, because most of my videos hardly have any views. The most views on one of my videos prior to that was 128. Um, and this one got like over 1100 views. So it just, I think it was just spirit's way to like make me smile and make me feel good to like, oh look, yeah, like, <laughs> even though that was like not helpful really. It was like, oh, I, I was like, if I'd known that YouTube was gonna show this to people, I would have maybe tried to like say a little bit about my channel or something to try to get people to come watch. But anyway, it, it's fun anyway, it's a fun little thing. And I told my son about it and then he actually like went and subscribed to my channel and um, watched that short video too and um, it's funny like <laughs> I've been on this channel for a year and a half and they don't have any interest and of course I don't expect them to have any interest in, in these videos and what I'm doing um, but it was just very sweet of him to go out of his way to go find and, and he had a like and I said how did you know even what my channel name is because when I started my channel it was called Divine Masculine Guidance because I thought I was starting it to help men the masculines. 
I was told that they were going to start waking up and they were going to need help. And so that's what I thought I was doing. And then my channel quickly, like it was not men who were being drawn to my channel. It was just women mostly. Anyway, so somewhere along the way, I'm like, well, this, this um, YouTube channel name doesn't fit anymore. I never did, I guess, but I thought it was going to. And then I just, so then I changed it to my business name, which is obviously Open Heart Healing. But I didn't ever tell him that I changed, I don't think I'd ever told him that I changed the name of my channel or anything. And so when he knew that it had been called Divine Masculine Guidance, but I don't know if he even remembered that. But, but I said, how did you find my channel? You didn't even know what the name of the channel was. And he's like, well, I just figured that was the name of it. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> It's a good guess, I guess. I mean, uh, yeah, anyway. He's a clever, he's a clever little Gemini. Actually, he's not little, he's bigger than me now. My 13 year old is like 5'10". So, that's fun. I knew that day would come, I knew this day would, would come, but it's just weird, like I look at him and I'm like, oh, it's my baby, and then I go stand by him and I have to like look up to him. <laughs> like, but you're not very small anymore. They're growing up, they grow so fast. Anyway, so that, that all that made me happy. <laughs> my, my short video getting all those views and then my son going and finding my channel and subscribing, that was nice. So the last thing is this King of Air. I'm getting the impression he doesn't want to look at something. If you look up close, I don't know if you'll really ever see. But it's like he's squinting. His eyes are barely open. They're just little slits. And it's like he doesn't want to see something or watch something, but he has to. He can't help himself. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> The look on his face is creepy, kind of creeping me out. Like it, because he's like, he's got those piercing eyes, even though his eyes are just like little slits that you can barely see them. They're like, they're like this bright blue piercing um, eyes looking. And he's wearing that mask, like he's trying to hide. He's trying to hide his identity. I don't know what this is I'm getting, you guys. Someone's trying to hide and and observe without without themselves being observed back. That's what I'm getting. So that sounds a lot like stalking. <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't laugh. Stalking is not funny. I apologize. I just laugh a lot now. Um, but I have to be careful because some things are not funny. Oh. Oh, I barely can see just a little bit of the sun. There's a little tiny little break in the clouds. It's just completely cloudy here today, but there's like this tiny little break that happened to go right over by where the sun was. The sun is like right out there. That was nice. So, this, and we got the sun from this tower card. It had a lot of sun on it. Sun. Mm. Oh, another little break is going over the sun. <gasps> I talk to the sun. I talk to the sun all the time. I talk to the sun, I start talking to the, because now I'm just, I'm just crazy now. It's all right. It's good, it's fun, it's nice. Um, but anyway, I started talking to the sun maybe like three years ago or something. And so I didn't really like even intentionally do it or even realize I was doing it, but I just like, when I would see the sun, I'd be like, hi sun. and how's it going and thanks for shining and whatever. <laughs> and then one day, I've told this story before, but one day I was sitting out in my hammock and the sun spoke to me. And I was like, I, 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 at that moment, I remember thinking like, okay, I have officially lost my mind, right? Now I'm kind of blinded because I was kind of looking at the sun. <laughs> it's, oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I thought I must have really officially lost my mind now, but it was pretty cool because I was sitting in the hammock and I was doing some emotional purging at the time because that was 
When was that? That was either the summer of 2019 or the summer of 2020. I can't remember which one now, but I do know it was summertime because I was in the hammock and... Oh no, it was even like the fall. I think it was like end of summer 2019 maybe. It doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, I was laying in the hammock and I was doing emotional purging because I had a lot of, you know, I'm super emotional, Scorpio moon and gotta get it out, gotta get it out, I gotta get it out when it comes. And so anyway, I was, I like to sit out in my hammock in the sunshine with my bare feet on the ground listening to my music. That's like my happy place. That's, I spend many, many hours doing that. When I, anytime I can, I do that pretty much because it's my favorite, favorite thing to do. It's grounding, you get the sunshine, which is so good, and the music is good for the soul and all that. Anyway, so anyway, I was listening, I was just laying there listening to music and I started crying about something and the tears started coming down my face and I was just about to reach up to wipe my tears away and I heard the sun say, you don't have to wipe your tears this time, I'll dry them for you. <laughs> and I was like, uh, what's happening? what's happening this and I was like oh my god the sun is talking to me and then I'm like I don't know if I'm just crazy and I'm just making this up like I, didn't, I couldn't even make that up though like that was so like out of the blue and random and unexpected and also very like perfect and sweet like it's like exactly what you would want the sun to say to you right and it was it just brought me like this immense comfort anyway that's like the only time the sun's ever really talked to me but I remember thinking why why would the sun talk to me and then Spirit said, well, duh, Sarah, you've been talking to the sun almost every day for like two years. <laughs> who, do, who do you think the sun is going to pick to talk to? You talk, I was like, oh, you're right. That's so true. <laughs> so anyway, if you want the sun to start talking to you, start talking to the sun. Maybe that's the message. But like I said, it hasn't given me any messages really since then, but I still always talk to the sun. I love the sun. Being a Leo rising, my chart is ruled by the sun. And my twin flame used to call me sun because he said I shine like the sun. Isn't that sweet? He, he was so sweet. I mean, I'm sure he still is, <laughs> but I don't know him anymore. So, um, that was a weird thing to say. I don't know him anymore kind of true though I never thought about it that way that's kind of sad though I don't know him anymore all right I better move on for this uh, full moon and cancer starts making me cry about it <laughs> so, I'm okay everything is fine it's all fine okay so blue um, I was guided to wear the green and the green rings um, the back color of this deck is green if you can see green um, but then we got three blue cards so blue and green and then there was the yellow blue green and yellow well blue and yellow together make green maybe someone needs to work on their like throat heart and solar plexus chakras those are all like right in a row right I don't know all right I think that's it. I really don't, I don't like this card looking at me anymore. <laughs> I need this card to go away. It's creeping me out. He's just like really watching me. He's really watching me and I feel like he's judging me. <laughs> Not that I care. People could judge me all they want. Doesn't, doesn't bother me any. People do it all the time. So remember, do all things with love. And anything else? I don't think so. Thank you for being here with me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope at least one of these messages resonated with you. Or, or if not, at least you got some holy fire energy coming through me to you. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will see you next time. And oh, tomorrow, I might go live tomorrow to do the, the daily tea and tarot. We'll see if I... If I'm up for it but I'm thinking I might and it might be a little bit later in the afternoon I have I actually have a coaching session scheduled 
but that's earlier. That's at like 10, I think, in the morning. So then, anyway, I don't know what time it will be if I do go live. So just um, hit the notification bell uh, if you're a subscriber. First of all, thank you. Second of all, hit the notification bell and turn it on all notifications. So then when I do go live, you would get a notification that I'm live and then you won't miss it. I mean, if you're able to join. I know like a lot of people are working during the day or whatever. Um, but I'm, I'm guessing it'll probably be around 1 p.m. Central Time. If I had to, if I had to guess a time, that's probably about when it's going to be. But I'm not going to do it at an exact time. I'm just going to do it whenever I'm ready. So anyway, uh, yeah. Hopefully you can join me for uh, if I do a live. Hopefully you can join me for that. I, I think I, at least right now, I would say yes. I'm going to go. I'm going to do this reading live tomorrow. Whenever I get, whenever I get the chance to do that, which, like I said, would probably be about one o'clock Central Time. Um, so yeah, I would love for you to join me. It was so much fun last time. I, I mean, it wouldn't be very fun to do a live if there was nobody there commenting. <laughs> then it would just be a video like this, which is also fine. Everything is fine. Anything that happens is fine. Um, okay, anyway, I'll stop talking now. Let's say that Mercury retrograde. I don't know. I just want to blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, have a great rest of your day. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.